Welcome to WatchGuard to Daily Security Byte, I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's video is AMD's response to their processor vulnerabilities. This is an update of a video I've done a few days ago which talks about how CTS, a kind of sketchy uh, research organization, disclosed 13 vulnerabilities in various AMD processors and, and components that they claimed were very, very critical and in one statement even said they're near unpatchable, which at the time many suspected was some hyperbole. They suspected they were kind of overstated. And more to the point, this organization that disclosed the flaws did not share any technical detail, only gave AMD 24 hours to respond, and also uh, admitted to some financial interests in the situation. In any case, AMD had acknowledged that they were looking into the flaws when this first came out, but today AMD released a more official and complete blog post confirming that these 13 vulnerabilities are real, but also sharing that they are kind of overblown and overstated. The true severity or impact of these vulnerabilities is probably a lot lower than some of the CTS videos lead you to believe. So I won't go into all the details, you can check out AMD's blog post if you like, but the the truth is these 13 vulnerabilities were true vulnerabilities, but as I mentioned in my first video and as a third party researcher had confirmed, all of these vulnerabilities already require the attacker to have administrative privileges on your computer before they can even exploit them. So they already have to own your computer, which means you're already hacked. Now having said that, in looking at the comments of my first video, you shouldn't underplay the value of certain types of vulnerabilities just because they require admin access. So if I'm to kind of give you the highlight of the worst of these 13 vulnerabilities that fall into four categories, it really is the fact that once you have admin access to a computer that uses one of these AMD processors, it's possible to actually load your malware into a BIOS location on that processor. And by doing that, the malware becomes essentially undetectable. All of the security software out there does not look for malware in that specific place on your processor. It's looking for it in your file storage or in running processes. So even though these do need admin access, which means they're not as severe is some vulnerabilities out there, you don't want to discount them because it is bad that an attacker can actually find ways to make his malware persist and hide on your computer longer than necessary. Now that said, these flaws do not seem nearly as bad as CTS had made them out to be. And most importantly, one of the statements I remember them saying in the video is basically alluding to these flaws being really hard or impossible to patch. And the most important part of AMD's update is they plan on releasing patches for them soon and they don't give exact time frames, but it's more weeks than it is months or years. So patches are coming out very soon, which kind of goes against CTS's claim that one, they're hard to patch. And two, one of the reasons that CTS claimed that they only gave AMD 24 hours was because they thought AMD would take forever to fix these vulnerabilities so that they had to pressure them to do so. I don't believe that. It's obviously clear that these flaws are not of the same scope as Meltdown and Spectre. They're not quite as hard to patch as those flaws. In any case, I highly recommend you read AMD's full response. More importantly, if you use their processors, look for the upcoming patches. The only thing I'll mention is beyond the fact that they have validated the flaws, they also mentioned that a lot of the flaws aren't directly in the Zen processor. Rather, they're in some subcomponents that are also uh, on the processor. And of course, they are within the security module that ships on these processors as well. Anyways, the summary is AMD's aware of them. They validated all the flaws. They're not quite as bad as CTS made them seem and patches are coming soon. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.